Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the V and 3 stitch, which you can see here in front of you. And this is a open lacy kind of stitch. It's the same on both front and back. It's quite a stable stitch, which would make it great for a variety of lacy projects. Um, and uh, it's quite versatile. So today I'm going to be using a little bit of worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. I'll be using a gray color and a five millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items are in the description of this video as well in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free stitch tutorial and uh, I hope that uh, you'll subscribe. Our stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of six plus four stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 22. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a V stitch into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five. Into this fifth chain, work a V stitch. A V stitch is going to be a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same chain. That is your V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same stitch. You're then going to skip the next two chains and into the next chain work three double crochet stitches. Skip the next two chains and into the next chain work one V stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. At the end of row one, when you come all the way across, you have two chains remaining. You will double skip the next stitch and double crochet into your final stitch. Chain three, which counts as a stitch, a double crochet and turn your work. For row two, you're going to skip the first two stitches, your first one because you have a chain three coming out. Skip your next double crochet and into the center double crochet of the next set of three, you're going to work three double crochet stitches. Skip the next two double crochets and into the center, into the chain one space of your next V stitch, you're going to work one V stitch. Skip the next two double crochets and into your next stitch, work three double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches and work a V stitch into the chain one space of your next V stitch. Skip the next two double crochets and into the next stitch, work three double crochet stitches. all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, which was your turning chain, you're going to work a double crochet into the top of your turning chain. 
you can then chain three and turn your work. For row three, we're going to start by skipping the first two double crochet stitches into the chain one space of our next V-stitch. Work a V-stitch. Skip the next two double crochet and into the next stitch, work three double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across, work a V-stitch in the chain one space of the next V-stitch. Skip the next two double crochets and work three double crochets into the next stitch. V stitch in the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across. You're going to finish off with three double crochets worked into that second double crochet of the set of three down below and then double crochet into the top of your turning chain. Chain three, turn your work, and now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three, fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's all there is to working the V and three stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.